Hello learners, welcome to NIOS studio. Let's continue our discussion with semiconductors and semiconductor devices. We were discussing about PN junction diode. Let's understand how the IV characteristics of the PN junction diode are shown. In this particular class, you will be able to understand the IV characteristic curves of the PN junction diode in forward and reverse bias. Let's discuss the IV characteristic curve of a PN junction diode in forward bias. A forward bias means that the P-type is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the N-type is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. This makes the diode in a forward bias. The connection of the diode in the forward bias is as shown here. In this over here, the diode is connected in the forward bias by connecting the P-type to the positive terminal of the battery and the N side is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. To measure the voltage, we have a voltmeter connected in parallel and an emitter connected in series with the circuit. Let's understand the working of the diode in forward bias. In forward bias, the diode offers minimum resistance and therefore, as soon as the knee voltage is attained, the diode shows a sharp increase as the voltage is increased. As shown in the graph previously, once the knee voltage is attained, the diode increases the current as the voltage increases. Similarly, let's talk about the IV characteristic curves of a junction diode in reverse bias. In reverse bias, the P side of the diode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and the N side of the diode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. This makes the diode connection in reverse bias. Let's understand the circuit of the diode in reverse bias. Over here, the P side is connected to the negative terminal and the N side is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Because of this, the depletion layer increases and the diode offers a very large resistance in the reverse bias and does not allow the current to flow. So what is being observed is very small amount of current being passed in the reverse bias and a very large current starts initiating once the breakdown region is attained. So in the reverse bias, the diode does not allow the current to flow. Only in the forward bias, the diode allows the current to flow. In order to understand the characteristics in details, let's do a simple experiment showing diode in forward and reverse bias. This is a PN junction diode. We are going to use this diode into this circuit. Let's have a look at the experimental setup. To start the experiment, we need a PN junction diode board and circuit wires. Let's start with the experiment. This is the setup where we have different kinds of diodes connected in the setup. We have connected the circuit in the forward bias and over here we have considered a germanium diode. To begin with, there is extremely low current and extremely low voltage. Now we start increasing the value of the voltage by turning the knob. As we turn the knob in the forward bias, the current shows an increase in the value. This increased value of the current is noted down in the form of a table. Let's start with the readings. To begin with, there is zero voltmeter reading and zero reading of the emitter. Now we try to increase the value of the voltmeter. 
as we turn the knob, the value of the voltmeter shows an increase. To start with, the current doesn't increase. As the value of the voltmeter increases, the current shows an increase. So with a rise in the value of the voltmeter, there is a continuous rise in the value of current. We take few sample readings and note down them on the graph paper. Let's note down the readings of the voltage and the current. Corresponding to 0.25 volts, the current is negligibly small. As the voltage increases, the value of the current changes. Corresponding to a value of 0 0.50, the current rises to around 0.1 milliampere. Beyond the knee voltage, there is a further rise in the value of the current. Further rise in voltage changes the current to larger values. Corresponding to 2 volts, the current shows a continuous increase to 8.2 milliampere. Let's plot a graph corresponding to these values. For a value of 0.25 volts, the current is negligibly small. For a value of 0.5, the current is again very small corresponding to 0.1. For a value of 0.75, the current is 1.2. For a value of 0.8, the current goes as 2.1. For a value of 2, the current goes as 8.2. Thus, it is observed that in the forward bias, the graph shows a sharp increase beyond the knee voltage. The knee voltage corresponds to 0 0.7 volts for silicon and 0 0.3 volts for germanium. This represents the forward bias characteristic curve of the junction diode. Similarly, we will plot the reverse bias characteristic curve. Let's take the readings of the junction diode in reverse bias. The circuit is now changed to reverse bias. Let's change the circuit arrangement. From the forward bias, now we are changing the circuit to the reverse bias. In the reverse bias, the current is in the micro ampere region. Now, as we increase the voltage, what is observed is that for increase in voltage, the current doesn't change much. So, let's take few readings corresponding to this. For a voltage of 0 0.8 volts, the current is 0.24 microamperes. As the current increases to 2.5, the current in microamperes goes to 1.7. Corresponding to a value of 1.5, the current is 1.7. Further, we take another reading. For a reading of 3 volts, the value is saturated to 29 microamperes. And further, this value, let's note down few readings. To start with, initially, for a voltage of 0 0.8 volts, the, vo the current is just 5.4 microamperes. As the voltage increases to a voltage of 2.5, the value shifts to 21 microamperes. Further, this value changes to 30 or 31 microamperes. All these readings 
are in micro ampere range as the voltage increases the value of the current shows a small change but doesn't change to larger values only beyond a certain voltage range the current is going to exceed which is known as the zener region let's plot these values to understand the reverse bias characteristic curve let's plot the readings in the reverse bias in the reverse bias corresponding to 1 volt the current in microamperes is 2.1 microamperes corresponding to 2 volts the value comes out to be 5.9 microamperes corresponding to 3 volts the value raises to 8.3 microamperes corresponding to 3.4 volts the value raises to 32.9 what we observe is that this raise in value is in microamperes as compared to the previous case where the values were rising in milliamperes so a milliampere is 10 to the power 3 times more than the microampere which means this rise in current is negligibly small let's plot them on the graph we need to note that over here the y axis is showing the current in microamperes unlike the previous case where it was in milliamperes so let's plot the readings corresponding to 1 volt of current in the reverse bias the cur current was 2.1 microampere so the value is negligibly small further for 2 volts the value of the current raises to 5.9 microamperes which is again very very small for 3 volts the value raises to some 8.3 microamperes and then further for a value of 3.4 volts the value rises up to 32.9 degree what is being observed is that in the reverse bias very small amount of current flows through the diode thus the diode offers a very large resistance to the flow of current in reverse bias unlike forward bias where the conduction is possible in reverse bias the diode does not conduct and acts like a switch over here in this experiment we have tried to learn about the forward and the reverse bias characteristics of a pn junction diode what we see from the experiment is that during the forward bias the diode offers minimum resistance and therefore as the voltage increases beyond the new voltage there is a sharp increase in the current through the diode in the reverse bias the diode offers a large resistance and therefore as the voltage increases there is a very less increase in the amount of current and that too in the microampere region only beyond the breakdown region does the diode current tries to exceed thus the iv characteristic curve of the diode in the forward and the reverse bias are explained in this section thank you learners